What is up writer friends? Welcome to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing 10 tools that I use in my online creative business. And I'm going to be sharing how I use those tools because sometimes it's one thing to share the tool and then it's another thing to discuss or describe how you use the tool. The first tool I want to talk about is actually an integration between three tools and I love it so much. Okay, it is my Calendly, Zoom and Google Calendar integration i love it okay so here's how i use it so i told you on this channel that i do run a business known as the bold phd and on the bold phd i do interview other phds and how they have transitioned from being an, an academia to a non-academic job right but in order to book these calls i need to find a tool this has to be something that makes it seamless and so i got calendly and at first i would you know have people book and i'd have to string together a bunch of tools but I have the paid version of Calendly and the paid version of Zoom. And I learned that you could link these two tools. So what ends up happening is that when somebody books a call with me for the Bold PhD on Calendly, it immediately schedules a call in Zoom and then Zoom sends that call to my Google Calendar and sends a calendar invite to the person I'm going to be interviewing so they can accept it. So it's on both of our calendars. Okay, okay. Like I love that integration so much because I just set it up once and then it just triggers a string of events and it's amazing so if you also do interviews or plan to do interviews or you know have scheduling in your business the other reasons I use currently as well I highly highly recommend Calendly and all the integrations that you can use it for. So basically in that one, I talked about three different tools, right? So anyway, let's jump to the next tool. The next tool, because I'm a writer, is Google Docs, okay? Now I use Google Docs to write my books primarily and I've also used it to write client content that I deliver to clients. And so for those of you that may be interested in going to freelance blog writing, copywriting, any type of writing, Google Docs is a free tool it's available that one of the reasons I love it is because I can go anywhere in the world and still open up my Google Docs I can use Google Docs on my phone I can use it on my desktop on my laptop on a tablet you can really open it anywhere you can use voice typing there's so many functionalities to Google Docs now one of the tools that I have been enjoying because I write books is what's known as the Google Docs add-ons though so there are these add-ons or like the extensions that you can can include or integrate into using Google Docs. I like one that's called Page Sizer because the, I like to put my books in a five by eight inch format and the default settings or page setup within Google Docs doesn't allow me to do that. So having page sizer is helpful. Another tool I use that is a Google Doc add-on is this word count tool. I've forgotten the name, so I'll show it on the screen. And I use that to help me build a daily writing habit. In this video, I talked about how I write a thousand plus words per day. And this tool is one I recently discovered that really helps to keep me on track. Pro Writing Aid is the next tool I want to talk about. Now, this tool, okay, I was trying to dislike it. <laughs> Ask me why. I was trying to dislike it because for years now I've been using Grammarly and Grammarly is a great tool um, that you can use to spot check your work, you know, grammar and all that. But I have come to a point in my career where I need a paid tool. And yes, you can pay for Grammarly. But when I worked at a marketing agency, we used a paid version of Grammarly. And I felt that while it was so great, um, there were still some things that I felt like, you know, Grammarly could do more of. And I find a lot of that with Pro Writing Aid. So Pro Writing Aid is not just a spell checker. It's not just an editing tool. It also has a writing coach functionality, which I find super amazing and I didn't find with Grammarly. So, you know, the reason why I was trying not to like Pro Writing Aid, number one, because I used Grammarly for so many years. And number two, when I started using it within Google Docs as an extension on my browser, it was slowing everything down. But if you end up using the actual Pro Writing Aid app, once you you know you purchase it and i did end up purchasing it because i needed that much um 
once you do that and you use their app it's much much easier and oh my goodness the functionality is unlocked amazing so highly recommend it if you get to that place where you need a you know professional level um not just spell checker but something that will help you write powerful punchy language um help you cut down on the use of unnecessary language so many other things i highly recommend let me know in the you know in the comments if you want me to do a tutorial or review on pro writing aid i'll be happy to do it let me know in the comments below kindle create is the next tool i want to talk about and kindle create is a free tool from amazon it actually allows you to format your books the right way for amazon kindle so listen if you've tried to publish on amazon kindle then you know that sometimes there's a little bit of frustration with uploading your documents and having them show up the way you want them to show up oh my word for the longest time like i had to figure it out right and i kind of figured a way around it initially with google docs and all that but if you use amazon's kindle create tool it's a free tool it's not it's not as sophisticated as some other book formatting tools out there but it gets the job done that's all i have to say it gets the job done and doing that has allowed me to put the book in the format that i want it to be in when we upload it to kindle and then the book looks great and then i'm happy and then i'm not throwing my computer out of the window which you know is super expensive to do now let's talk about social media tools i do automate a large portion of my social media i get a lot of um you know business and invitations to speak and invitations for things through social media and there is no way being a mom being a wife be having a full-time job doing all the things that i do that i can actually sit down and live post and most people that i know don't do this i use a tool known as buffer for my social media automation it works perfectly um there are, and for all these tools that i'm talking about i just want to mention that there are free versions for all of these tools but i think you know i've grown to a place in my business where free no longer is enough for me so i definitely have to pay for it so i do pay for buffer on a monthly basis and so far it's been fantastic um, in helping me especially like twitter i don't like to go on twitter but buffer has been super helpful to me on twitter especially for my bold phd business helping me automate a lot of social media and i've been grateful and if you get to a place in your business where you hire like a va or a personal assistant you can just kind of give that to them that's a very easy task you can give to your your social media manager your va your your personal assistant to like like work on so that you know you're free to do all the other you know CEO things that you want to do within your creative business Canva <laughs> I use Canva not just for social media images but recently I've used them for like short videos for Instagram reels I've used them to make presentations oh uh, uh, presentations um, when I'm just making a very very simple book cover I've used Canva I do not design my own book covers because you know people do judge a book by its cover and you want to always give the best impression and so I do work with graphic designers for my fiction books but um, when I want to do something really simple really quick I will like just look at something I want to do and then try to do the same thing within Canva but I use Canva for everything I am so grateful to the creators of Canva Thank you Lord for their, their lives. It's been amazing using Canva and that's what I use for all my graphic design needs. InShot is an app, um, it's on an iPhone or Android that you can use to edit videos. So I use this primarily to edit reels and TikToks. So that's it, I just use InShot and that's it. Sometimes I also use the, um, the native app on Instagram to just edit some of those videos as well um, but I find like if I want to cut certain scenes if I want to do certain things in short it's just really an easy tool to be able to do that recently I've been using notion a lot to kind of plan out do long-term planning I don't use it to take like short-term notes if I want to take like quick notes like as I'm doing this video right I am uh, I have notes right here I don't know if you see it but notes right here on my phone that I'm kind of um, going off of to do this video and it's in the notes app so if you use an iphone then there's a notes app i use the notes app for short-term things like that right but if i want to do like 
a three month plan if i want to like right now um as i'm planning for 2023 god willing one of the things that i've been doing a lot is planning out the book series i want to launch in 2023 so i planned that out in notion and it's it's amazing and notion has so many functionalities i wish like i feel like there are whole channels and there should be whole businesses built around notion because the amount of things the number of things you can do with notion is amazing but for me i have found it so useful for just planning out out, you know like content calendars planning out the books I want to write planning out what I want my year to look like and for that it's amazing but definitely you can use um, notion for you know most people see it as as primarily like a note-taking app but it's way more than a note-taking app so if you haven't checked it out I highly recommend that you should check that out I use teachable to sell courses so if you look below this video there's going to be a link to one of my courses right to 1k that that's the course where I show you how you can go from zero to making your first $1,000 per month as a freelance writer, right? And so if you click on that, that takes you to a Teachable page. I have enjoyed using Teachable in my teaching my course business because it's fairly simple, fairly easy, um, not complicated at all all and i can just use that to create courses and sell courses you get paid every 60 days it's it just works if you need to refund somebody's money it's super easy so i really enjoy teachable also if you end up buying the, the one of the teachable plans which i'm currently on um teachable does send a lot of resources they have a lot of educational tools so you never feel like you're alone or by yourself there's so much out there that they give i've not even been able to go through half of of the teachable courses and the opportunities that they make available to you when you once you purchase one of their paid plans but I do use Teachable and I'm in love with it. Gun Road is what I use to sell my digital products. Okay, and so if you watch the video I did on 10 income streams I built during my 30s, or was it 12? Anyway, yeah, that video. <laughs> I do talk about the difference between online courses and digital products. Online courses, you know, it's more instructional. There are videos, there's instructional material. With a digital product, usually it's a smaller product. Usually it's maybe an ebook, a checklist something of that sort that is not as extensively instructional right and i use gummo to sell those you can definitely sell them on teachable um but i feel like teachable wasn't built for that teachable was really built for courses and gummo was really built for digital products so i just use those two tools the way they seem to have been designed for flowdesk is a tool i use for email marketing now social media is nice but but we all know, friends, that social media can give out on you. Um, somebody could be having a down day. People's YouTube channels have been deleted. People's accounts have been shut down by corporations. And, you know, I don't like to put all of my eggs in that basket and then have something shut down and be completely devastated about that. So I usually regularly invite people to join my email list and, you know, I, for the bull phd i do that for this like for this uh for the genome try and rebuilding it so you know i'm going to leave a link below go sign up for my email list and what i do is on a weekly basis i'll send out emails to the email list and you know converse with them nurture them sell something to them and those people are usually more likely to buy more likely to engage with you more likely to like spread the message about you um because those are more dedicated fans right not everybody's going to sign up for your email list but the people that sign up usually they're invested in your brand hope this video was helpful let me know if you use any of these tools or if there's any tool that you would like me to go in detail about let me know and i can consider making a video about that